Hi everybody, it's Joni Young here. Welcome back to my channel for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint bricks. I'm showing you on a gray canvas because a gray canvas is the color that you typically see for the mortar, um, the concrete that they lay bricks with. So this makes it really easy right off the bat if you choose uh, a lighter gray or darker gray or the same gray as this. This is a slate gray. Uh, make sure it's all dry before you start coming in with the next step. And I'm just working on a nine by 12 canvas today. I have the following colors here, Natfall Crimson, Burnt Sienna, Mars Black, Titanium White, and Yellow Ochre. I'm going to be doing this entire painting with one brush. And this is a number five flat brush. You wanna um, choose a brush that's gonna have a flat end to it and a square shape because it's gonna make it easier to get um, the shapes of the brick. So let's go ahead and get started with the first step. I'm going to be just getting my brush a little bit wet. This is going to dampen the bristles in my brush, making it easier to uh, spread the paint out. And I'm going to start with black. So I'm going to take some black, burnt sienna, a little bit of red, and you can mix it up on the palette if you want, or you can just take all three colors. And we're just going to start coming in with long rectangle shapes for our bricks. Okay, so depending on how big you want your bricks to be, I would say an inch to two inches. Now we're gonna leave a space in between for the mortar and we'll come in with the next one. And this is where you can alternate your colors. You don't have to have the same exact color in every for every brick they're going to be a little bit different right some are going to be more red and then you just want to continue going along the top remembering to leave some spaces and they don't have to be perfect perfectly symmetrical rectangles now the next thing you want to do is line up your next brick in between where you have that break. So instead of going right underneath, we're gonna start in the middle of one and finish in the middle of the next one. And now it can be a little bit shorter or longer than that. But we're going to just stagger them like that. And then just off the edge, we'll have other ones that just go off the canvas, right? And we're just going to continue here doing the same thing. Remember, they don't have to be perfectly lined up every single time. it's important that you have a little bit of that gray in between. Pick up a little bit more black here. And then add those little ones off the edge. we'll be adding some yellow ochre in a moment. I just want to get a nice, dark, warm base here. You can add a little bit of water to your brush to thin that paint out. Okay, so every time you have two, you've got one in between those. Okay, 
Okay, so we started that one in the middle. And if you want to add like another just little random piece, you can, or just make one that's extra long. Well, it depends on what you're painting. So if you're painting something that's more like a brickwork on cottages and you want to create that kind of old fashioned charm, then you can be a little bit looser. Like I'm being with, you know, not perfectly symmetrical, but if you want to paint something perfectly symmetrical, then you might want to have uh, a little bit more steadiness of the hand, maybe um, plan out exactly where you want to add and just maybe measure. It's up to you. I don't like measuring personally. I like being free. When it comes to art, it's the only thing that shouldn't have any rules. Just a few little guidelines and tips. But the rest should just be whatever you want it to be and enjoy the process. So once you get sort of a basic idea, then you just start to pick up a rhythm and before you know it, you're done. And there's something really relaxing about painting rocks and bricks. And you can use, if you're wondering what you can use today's lesson for, you can create brick walls, brick buildings, fireplace, And I've got lots and lots of tutorials demonstrating all of those things here on my channel. And the next color I'm going to take is the yellow ochre. I'm going to just mix that up. And I want to kind of focus on adding the paint to the belly bottom of the brush and I'm going to turn the brush over and this is what I find the easiest but find what works for you and what you feel comfortable with placing my finger here and this is where I'm going to go inside the brick so I'm going to leave it dark outlined and I'm going to just drag the brush barely touching now you can use this technique on um, dry paint or on wet paint. Now I'm using this on wet paint. So when you do this, you'll pick up the wet paint at times and make different tones. Now you don't have to do this on every single brick, obviously, but because you really do, each brick is different, right? They're not all exactly the same unless that's what you're going for. But you can make different tones here by adding a little bit more black, a little more red, even some white. And keep in mind, if you're just new to acrylics, they dry darker. So if you come back after when it's all dry and you're wondering why it looks different, that's why. So if you really want yours to be nice and bright, you may want to think about adding a little bit um, extra yellow ochre or white. But what I like about this technique, just lightly pulling across flat, is that you're left with these little pits, I call them, <laughs> where you can see the under painting exposed. And I use this technique for um, demonstrating how to paint rocks as well. I've got two other tutorials um, for painting um, 
similar to this. This isn't, these aren't rocks, but um, a lot of you guys were asking after watching my how to paint rocks tutorial if I could show you how to paint bricks. So I do have um, tutorials on how to paint round smooth river rocks and stack them, layer them. And I've also got a tutorial on, you can just see here how I'm kind of alternating, adding a little bit more or less of each color. Um, I've got one on how to paint cliff rocks and there's a bonus quick seascape tutorial in, in with that one. Um, so there's lots of techniques and tricks, tips for you to pick up. Okay, so let's just take a little bit more red with a burnt sienna. And let's kind of just drag that over some of them or part parts of some of them just so you can see how you can layer over or create different tones different colors of bricks and then of course if you would just want um, gray based bricks I don't actually know I think there are I think you can get them in in gray then you know you would just use black and white the next thing I want to show you is how to add a little bit more depth to um, the concrete or mortar. And I'm going to add a little bit of white, a little bit of black. I want to make a lighter shade of gray than the underpainting. Because you know how the, the mortar or concrete, it's kind of got a little bit of bumps or textures in it. Just will take a little bit more of that gray there. And we're just gonna go in between. You can tap, wiggle. Another good tip for loading your brush for this step is just to make sure you have it nice and thin and flat on the end of the brush so you can fit it in between. You can use the corner of your brush and you can slightly go over some of the bricks and make it a little thicker in some areas. Because just think how it looks, or even if you just look at a few pictures, and you'll notice that it's not perfect and it kind of overlaps part of the bricks at times. So that's why you'll notice me kind of twisting around sometimes on purpose, making it a little messy. Now I've painted garden arches with bricks like these, but I teach you how to create a shape, the arch shape with them. So there's a lot of different ways you can incorporate bricks into a painting. You can use them for walkways. 
So the approach would be a little bit different for walkways because the perspective is different. Okay, so now that we've weaved in and around these, I'm going to use a little bit of this gray, red, burnt sienna, all the colors. And I'm just going to turn my brush over and I'm going to choose a few bricks, come inside and finish this tutorial off very lightly. See how we're left with different colors. So if you layer your colors and steps like this, you'll get natural looking 3D bricks. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And I have quite a few more tutorials, exclusive content over on Patreon, and you can connect one-on-one -on -one with me there if you like. Thanks so much for all your support, and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!